Any person speaking any language uses sentences every day. But what exactly is a sentence? Well, no matter how long or short, complex or simple, a sentence always has two primary characteristics. One, it must have a character that either does something or is a certain way, and two, it must express a complete thought. Those criteria may seem a bit abstract, so let's unpack them. The first criteria, that a character must do something or be a certain way, is reflected in all sentence structures. Here we have this phrase, which is not a sentence, the delicious ice cream cone. While we do have a character, the ice cream cone, we don't know whether it is doing something or what state of being it is in. A quick revision to the ice cream cone was delicious gives us the two things we need to meet our first criteria, a character and what that character is doing. In this case, just existing, sitting there being delicious. But while knowing what the character is doing is important, knowing the character is even more important. You probably completed this phrase, jumped over the candlestick, in your mind already. It's hard to keep actions straight if we don't know who is doing them. The sentence, Jack jumped over the candlestick, introduces a character, Jack, to our phrase, making it a sentence. The second criteria, a complete thought, is a bit more difficult to define. It might help us, though, if we think about what could make a thought incomplete. Think of a sentence like a very small story. Most stories have endings. The hero saves the day, the couple gets together, or the puppy finds its way home. There's something that happens that makes us feel like the journey has come to a rest. If you watch much TV, though, you've probably encountered episodes that end in cliffhangers. These episodes will often have a teaser at the end to indicate that the story keeps going. They'll say something like, next time on, or tune in next week to see. This works because we have a natural desire for things to come to a conclusion. Just like in those TV shows, sometimes a sentence stops being a sentence when there is an implied continuation. Let's look at some specific examples that will help explain this idea. The sentence, I went to the movies, is a complete thought, a complete story. It may be boring, but it is complete. But we can imply a continuation if we add something, like the word, when. When I went to the movies is not a complete thought. If you were talking to some friends and you began a sentence this way, they'd wait for you to finish. It isn't complete because there is more to the story. This may seem like a complex way to talk about something relatively simple, but understanding exactly what makes a sentence tick will help us when we talk about fragments and run-ons.